Hey guys and welcome to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process. We are here with a project already open in After Effects and the project this time is Wedding at the Beach. Um, and as you can see right at the moment we only have our placeholders and before we start uh, just to see the structure of the project. So in this folder here we will find our uh, compositions to render. We will find the first fo folder uh, with 17 placeholders and you will have uh, 720 version and a 1080 version and the same inside um, the 32 placeholders versions um, 180p and 720p. Okay, and um, regardless, uh, when we start changing the photos and the text, uh, as soon as you have photos and text, you can render um, either version because everything will be changed um, in all of them. So all of the text and photos will be found, uh, in this case the placeholders will be found in this folder here named Photos and Text except uh, the photo, sorry, the text at the intro, which we will find inside the pre-comps and scenes in scene 00, which is our first scene. Just double click on it to open it up. And there we will find our text layer that we can change to whatever, just double clicking. And let's say my new My new title right here and maybe we are in November so let's say November and probably I would want to decrease a little bit the size of the last one so my new title and November. Once we close it up, we will find it um, on our main composition and ready to be used. So once we do this, we can close these folders here. And let's go to our pictures folder. And let's replace the first one. So just right click on it replace footage file and select the picture that you want to use. In my case, I'm going to use the same ones at a, as I did on a preview. So number one, and I can do number two. And we don't need to scroll it. We can just keep on replace footage file three, right click, replace footage file four. You don't need to have the same numbers. Uh, you can have names or whatever. You just have to select the file. In my case, I have all of them numbered. Uh, so it's, it's much easier and quicker to work this way, but um, it will work in any, any way. So number six, okay. As you can see, we have now our first six photos replaced. Okay, and uh, one thing that you might want to use is to open the uh, the photo composition itself because in this case I'm using photos in a relative, relative, sorry, <laughs> um, relative uh, size, and you will probably going to use high resolution photos, uh, especially if you coming from a DSLR. Uh, so you're probably going to find your pictures in a way high resolution and you might want to adjust them and center the subject the way you want and then you are ready to go. So if we go back to our first picture now is, um, as we can see, modified and you can do that with all of them. Just double click on a photo to open and select the picture itself, S for scale, and there we go. As we can see, it will 
make the changes. And in the meantime, while you have your uh, picture composition open, you might want to save some time and edit the text um, just after replacing and adjusting the picture. So in this case, let's say Mary and let's say uh, Mark and picture number three. Okay, so if we go back to our composition, we have now our texts all in place. Okay, and regarding pictures and texts, this is it. All we have to, to do is keep on this repeating process, so no point on me uh, wasting our time watching, uh, watching me replacing all of them. Um, but there, there is other things that I would like to uh, address at this point, especially in the versions of 720p, which is the version that you see on the preview and has this camera uh, movement that you might want to change. Okay, so to do that, let's imagine that uh, you don't want to use this particular movement. All you have to do is select the scene that to that you are uh, with your timeline press u to show the keyframes and as you can see if i go to the position here i can even disable this one to see it better i can change the position so i'm gonna go this way and at the end I will want to go, let's go, see how it looks, okay, so now we have a different, different movement, you can also, if you want to inverse the movement, just select the keyframes, double click and keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes on the position and there we go. Now we have inverted the keyframes. Okay. Uh, of course, you can play around with these keyframes for all of the layers and get the project a bit more personalized. Regarding the 1080p, let me close this. 1080p, uh, which is the the static version, you might prefer. Uh, this version there is no animation whatsoever in um, in the, the camera movement or fake camera movement if you can call it that um, but of course you can play around with it if you if you do wish to and this is it let me just check so we checked the structure how to change the titles and how to change photos adjust them and also how to change or tweak the camera movements in the 720p version. Okay. Okay, guys, this is it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope I could help with this small video guide um, regarding the customization of this project. Nonetheless, if you find any trouble or any doubt regarding the project, please drop me a line and uh, I will reply as fast as I can and um, to try and resolve your, uh, your problem. So once again, my name is Roberto George. Hope you enjoy working with this template and have fun with it. Bye bye.